It's Akira Dranner, and I once again reached a point where I need to show you stuff that I'm doing. Um, let's see. I'm gonna need two void ingots and a. Uh, let's move some stuff so I can actually show you what the crafting recipe looks like. And like that. Or, what the hell. I'll just throw them in my inventory and go show. Let's see, um, Thomium sword, nothing fancy, just some more ingots and a stick, making a sword. Zordus, sword of Zephyr, is using that sword. Three air crystals, vaporous, whatever, enchanted wood, boom, and then the, uh, void cutter. A nifty little thing, but not really my final step in this. Wrong way. Yeah, it's on. I have the worst of luck with that kind of stuff. Let's see. Void cutter. Yeah, it basically works as a sword and an axe. And, uh, this is all working up to a final step, which is, uh, in here, the uh, elemental cutter. For that, I'll need the axe of the stream, the void cutter, Zorda Sephir, extract coolest water, which is like the magic, only with the water crystal, and same with the air. And yeah, this basically makes something with the effects of uh, both the sword and the axe. And I thought that was uh, cool enough to bother making. I tested it out and I really liked what it did, so I'm gonna get that crafting. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna throw this somewhere. Um, I also discovered how to make Elder Stone, Darkness Generator. Oh, Darkness Generator, yeah. I should have brought that out. The Mechanism, Void Cutter, which I should have had out to. Mask of Cruelty, Vampiric Enchantment. Charm of Souls, Void Ingot, and the Void Bracelet. Really nice one, that. Throw that big in there. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's right. Project table don't like it when you auto-sort. If it's doing what I think it is. Oh, need more of that stuff. It should be daytime out. Looks like it's raining. And lagging. Uh, that's good, because I was going to need to come out here anyway. Oop. No, no, bad, 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 bad. Because there's no way out of there. Except through breaking stuff and, uh... That just causes problems. The proper way of getting out, besides, you know, turning on creative mode and flying out, which I will admit to having done a few times, in very similar circumstances, but honestly all it is is just uh, preventing this. Which is a lot easier with the boots. I love the... Uh, quickly get out of an area kind of thing. Eh, might as well grab wheat. I'm removing the chest because I'm going to be replacing it with something else. Actually, I probably... Oop. I didn't really need the wheat now that I think about it. Yeah, in fact, I'm just going to go drop the wheat back off. Really pointless. Lots of lag, too. And that's what I get for uh, trying to do too many things at once. Okay. Got this. There we go. Client star. Come here. Throw that there. Um, grab five-ish diamonds out. You know, nothing much. 
And uh, I'm going to throw the crystal chest right in there. Yeah, that's one thing. If you're using those uh, iron chest mod chests, they work with the, the uh, equivalent exchange. Toss some diamonds in there. I use diamonds because they uh, burn quicker. It's like each thing has to take a bit of time to burn. So I just uh, skip that whole thing and just be like, okay, here we go. It's working. So yeah, it's working like this sword works like the other stuff. And, uh, well, it's a sword axe, I guess, but yeah. There was some mobs. I think I see a pig over this way. Pigoo, come here! I said, come here! There we go. And I haven't actually tested the um, multi-mob area effect thing. I'm assuming it's going to do it as well. I'm not sure. It does the axe of the stream effect. Of course, I'm going to end up enchanting it all the hell on back. But first, and more important thing. Something I had already researched in the past. And that's a uh, stone slab. Stone slab, vis crystal, and a zombie brain. These, when you enchant together, get you something nice. It gets you a collected wisdom. And I didn't quite know what this did until I actually went and used it. Because I thought, collected wisdom, that sounds cool. And that's torturous. That'll take a while. Boom, take that off. I'll have to make another room, I guess, for the uh, research. Because I don't think if you break it, it'll... Oh, is it... oh yeah, I need to uh, have something behind it. Because it doesn't like uh, directly being placed on stuff for some reason. Ah. Uh, eh, soul sand will do. Oop. Oops, sorry, chest. There we go. All better now. It doesn't really have... It doesn't really have a problem with being over the thing. In fact, that's how I'm powering it, but... Okay, first of all, you see here it's got that. I could, uh, for instance, put my uh, sword there. Boy, there are a lot of them, aren't there? Yes. Uh, because of the it being a sword and an axe, it's not only got the uh, stuff for the axe, it's got stuff for the uh, sword, too. Like looting and relic hunting and stuff. But you'll notice I can... Um, Three random things. I can get three. Enchantments. Max. That's what I can get. No helping that, right? Wrong. Collected wisdom. Boom. Throw that in. And now I can get four things, which um, will probably end up being self-repair, fortune... Not fortune, no. There. Nah. For some reason, it's... uh. Huh. My test world seemed to have it uh, being able to get all these at level 3, so it's probably just something... Huh. Probably on my end, I guess. Or maybe I, maybe it didn't and I'm just remembering wrong. Because that's always an option. But yeah, this, this thing is partly uh, nice that I can do that. Because I didn't quite actually like the enchantments I had on my uh, Axe of the Stream. So, hey! nifty thing and a good reason to redo it. But yeah, definitely going to get the uh, self-repair and uh, whatever else. Uh, soul sand can go in there too. Got some other stuff. Uh, there we go. And the, uh, a, crystal, a crystal, 
some wool, and some string enchanted together will get you enchanted fabric. I need right now. There we go. Enchanted fabric, ender pearl, ender pearl, and an arcane singularity will get you the uh, get you the requirement of going grabbing more diamonds. Hmm. I'll just go and grab five more diamonds. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Yeah, I don't really mean to be using this so much, it's just, uh, I could have went and just had all the gravel that I used to make this and thrown it in piece by piece. I decided not to, though, because, uh, I like not being a complete bore. And this creates a temporary hole through stuff. Yeah, even that wasn't high enough because this is partly underground. And it lasts time equal to uh, how long it is. So that one's actually pretty long. But it's not what I'm aiming for. Though I'll probably make myself one of those at some point because they are really nice. What I'm aiming for is uh, emptiness. Contained emptiness or however, whatever it was. The stone slab might tip you off, but it's an upgrade. It'll increase the uh, the amount of space in my animated chest. Yep, contained emptiness. Though since it's a chest and I use it for basically my Thomcraft stuff, it probably won't stay. Uh, and you'll notice it got a little bit bigger. Yeah, a whole new roll of stuff. Hey. Do I have anything else in here? No, I don't. That means all I have left is uh, some stuff from over here. Um, that, that, that. Will get me a darkness generator, which is uh, the seed, some ingots, mechanism, and some stone. I need it, and it because using seeds, it'll create those seeds. And they're basically the base recipe for all the dark eldritch kind of freaky stuff. And, well, dark eldritch freaky stuff sounds pretty cool, so, yeah. Gonna want to do stuff with that. Let's see, there we go. And then, uh, first of all, I would have made a alchemical chest. I didn't, I haven't used these so much because, uh, it's basically a really big chest. And it's relatively cheap. It's like one and one fortieth of a diamond, basically. While the diamond chest back there cost a couple of diamonds and a bunch of resources. So I'm like, eh, I'll go with that. There we go. There is one thing I'm going to need. It to be daytime. And not lagging. Yeah, that's something I dislike. If it's uh, raining outside, Endermen get in. It can't can't be helped. I'll be right back after a nice short sleep. It's kind of long, actually. Uh, yeah, four minutes, seven minutes. I'll be right back after a wait. Oi, something stupid, Enderman. Yeah. That's the one thing about Endermen, they can push you out of bed. I'm probably gonna die for this, but uh... Yo. Uh, yep. If I was outside, I might have lived long enough. What if I was outside and I just held him there 
without really looking at him. What would have happened is he would have been unable to leave. Because you noticed he kept going back to where my spot that I was holding him was. So in the end, he would have died out in the rain without any way to do anything about it. Which is pretty much definitively amusing. So I'm going to try to get him again. Nope. Well, good to know I can do that. There we go. No. There we go. <laughs> die. Die. Yeah. It's really amusing in creative mode because you do that and you let him in your flying and it'll actually push you around. It's like Enderman powered rain only flight device. Stupid death point. And uh, as you might notice, I opened a couple more obelisks to uh, just get the supplies I needed for the darkness generator and stuff, because I didn't really get that much stuff from the first, and I foolishly researched it. But I'll be right back after the night's gone. Hey, okay. Seems like, wait, do I have the, uh... It's probably in one of my bags. Digger, no. Builder, no. Forester, no. Miner, there we go. And, yep, there we go. That's where my diamond was. Might as well put the end of my back while I'm here. There we go. And this is what I took the one. Oh, hey, a brain. Nice. I'll be needing that. So, yeah. I've now connected the uh, overflow of the this chest. So when it overflows, I'm going to uh, get a bunch. And in fact, I'll be right back. There we go. And uh, I didn't need to remove all that weight. How much can fit in? All of it? Okay, that's good. Now, I don't want to sort this chest because now I have it sorted how I actually want it. Uh, four rows and a half of wheat and of sugar cane. So from now on, when I... So yeah, that'll fill up, and it should be because it's... Uh, actually, I'll probably need to go refill those. And then overflow will go into here. Pretty simple setup, and uh... Oop, not what I meant to do. And not what I meant to do either. Here we go. What I meant to do. And there we go. Huh, I should have readjusted my inventory a little bit wise. Well, really, that's the important part. There we go. Now, what what is I wanted to do? Oh yeah. Oh hey, seeds. I'm going to grab a bunch of seeds, and I'm going to go and toss them in here. I've been considering uh, setting up some build craft uh, biofuel production, and see what I get around to with that. But I'm not sure. I might. It's a good possibility, I guess. But what... Thank God it rains around here a lot. But what I was, what I'm doing now is coming over here, and uh, this uh, darkness generator needs to be around one of the obelisks. And I, is that close enough? Um, and uh, any light, any light at all, is bad for it. So um, I'm going to have to uh, build some darkness around it. But it takes seeds. And converts into the seeds of darkness. You know what? I 
want to actually have some, so I'll use that real quick. One flaw with the equivalent exchange and forestry is they don't yet interact quite so well. Not what I meant to do. There we go. So when you collect the uh, little black spheres, you end up with uh, not being in your bag, basically, which is not what you want. I don't know exactly what it needs besides darkness, so I'm just gonna kind of create a boxy box thing here and uh, uh, apparently get more dirt. Dirt, 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 destruction catalyst. Ah, mad with power. Okay, there we go. Um, and seeds go in there. Okay, I guess I did something wrong. Huh. Wait a second. I just saw some... Oh, yep. Yeah. There we go. It's working. It's just slow. So I'm going to leave this in um, this filthy little hut. There we go. Style, man. Style. That's exactly the opposite of what it has. So yeah, I'm just going to leave that there with a stack of seeds in it and come back in time. See what I got. The answer is a diamond. I have a diamond. Let's see what else did I want to... Uh... Well, I have a ton of Eternalist fuel, so I should probably, uh... A ton of Eternalist fuel. Oh yeah, it requires a diamond block. Heh. <laughs> diamond blocks. They're fun. That's fuel. Full. Tongue-tie? No. And I'll just grab out a diamond block. Not that hard, you know? Shove that back. Nope. Wrong. Wrong way. Reverse that. Reverse that order. Just give me some dark matter. And actually teach it to my thing. Learned. Sweet. And uh, the uses for it is uh, red matter. Three of them. And then six eternalist fuel, but after you get three dark matter, you're kind of like, oh yeah, eternalist fuel, sure, I have some of that. Hmm. I'm wondering if my client starter is going to be able to deal with this. No lock, no lock. Okay, I yeah, can't. Oh, uh, yeah, it's got over the uh, prescribed amount. Grab out some until it's down below that. Lock gone. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. boom. There we go. Well, I'll be able to go and uh, oh. 
check me in some red matter. Now for the important part. Hey! Learned. Huh. How much does the client star cost, anyway? Huh. A little bit. Sweet. I'm able to afford it. Yep. I'm taking out enough so I'm able to go and uh, subtract all this away. Once that's all subtracted away, I'll be able to go and uh, take that. Open that up, and hey, Dre. <laughs> hey, Dre. Anyway, okay. Hey, you learned it. Hey, I got some uh, turnless fuel here. One. Only one. Sad face. I was hoping for more than that. Uh, how much do I have lying around? I don't have that much. <laughs> I'm talking about eternalist fuel. It's like, oh yeah, I just used the stack of it and I got some more here. It's like, I don't have that much. Yeah, about that. Anything in here? Oh yeah, I have some silver wood. <laughs> lots and lots of silver. Anything in here I could, uh, I don't know. Grab that out. Come over here. Because I'm wanting at least two bits of red matter. I think. Yeah, that seems right. Two bits. Eh, not enough. Oh well. <sighs> Which one's more important? The relay? Maybe. Relay. Uh, or the collect. I'm thinking the collector is what I'd want. Let's see, and I should have some. Yeah, I have some there. Oop, no, bad, bad. Stop that. There we go, I got it. And now I got a MK3. And I'll come over hither and teach it to my thing. Easy enough. Nope, don't want that. Oh, come back here. There we go. And, well, actually, I don't really have much options other than Eternalist Fuel, so, uh... I'll just grab another... I'll grab what? A little extra. Yeah, I've been just kind of throwing in stacks of redstone. Because it works. So yeah, there's not really much else. I was, I just had to uh, do this because I was at a point where I couldn't really continue onward. It's like some of the stuff I needed to show, because like, hey, red matter. But now that I've shown it, I can off-screen the creation of the rest of it, and over here, I'm, I'm going to be needing where is that? elemental cutter. I should probably decide. I definitely want self-repair. Not quite sure about fortune or that. The looting one. I think I want the looting. Because, uh... This thing is, uh, relics and stuff. And, uh, mostly what I kill for is zombie brains. So with that, I'd be able to get more zombie brains. So, looting three, and then I can get fortune three, which is nice. What's that? A silk touch? No, thank you. Nothing wrong with silk touch, it's just not what I'm looking for right now. Sharpness. Sharpness four? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Maybe if 
I should get maybe I should get the uh, sharpness up. Fortune four. Or fortune that fortune two and then a relic hunter one, no. Huh. Knockback. Knockback's fun. If I add knockback, what can I still add? Uh, fortune three. Efficiency, Relic Hunter, Silk Touch, Soul Stealer. Oh, hey, the Soul Stealer might be fun, because that's the one that, if I take out that Soul Stealer one, then it reduces everything else I can do by a lot, but that's the one that gives me a chance of getting a, a what's it called? Uh, one of those souls when I kill something. And a uh, Relic Hunter one. Hmm. Maybe I should. Ah, I want sharpness. I can't. No, set face. Whatever. Yeah, that that looks good. I think. Looting three, soul stealer one, relic hunter one. So this will increase the drops, zombie brains and stuff. This will give me a chance at getting one of those soul things. This'll get me, uh, yeah, not Relic Hunter. Maybe efficiency. It's always nice to be able to cut stuff down better. Sharpness. I'm really tempted by sharpness, actually. It's like the other stuff is interesting. Smite, Ice Aspect, Vamp, or not Vampire, that's the one. Or, I don't see Vampire here. I guess I don't have Vampire. Actually, Looting 3. Do I really want that? Hmm. Such a tough decision. What other things could I get besides that if I took that away? Actually, let me take that away. Yeah, there is a... Only two levels of it. And no matter what, I want self-repair. It's basically, oh hey, you fought a lot of stuff. Now it's night time, or now it's daytime. Nothing's fighting you. Do do do. Oh hey, your thing's all fully done up and nice and healed and everything. Actually, before I do that, let's check out... I can enchant this, right? Yeah, okay. Self-repair. I don't get a lot of options on it. What I'd want on it is the, uh... This one. Fortune. Or, no, not fortune. Uh, looting. Yeah, looting. Looting 3, I'd want on that. Because then I could kill the crystal things and, like... Oh, hey, a couple crystals. Sweet! Hmm. And, well, I can't really do much. It's like, this is basically the best I can get right now for harvesting wood. So everything else I'm getting is going to be for creature killing, basically. Knockback 1 wouldn't be bad, I don't think. But Sharpness 2, it's tempting me. Yeah, Sharpness 2. So anyway, I'm going to be uh, throwing stuff in there to make this. I mean, shouldn't really get much of anything because I don't have much of this. And there's a literal bottleneck on it. Oop! Ah! Yeah. Bad. 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 Oh, and uh, apparently I just have taint at the moment. Yeah, I don't quite just automatically go and uh, leave these on. I take them off because occasionally you don't need all that extra stuff. You just... Goddamn Enderman. I think it's raining outside. Then again, it's always raining outside. Uh, I moved the portal over here, so I'll probably be making my other room over there real soon. And, uh, that's working. I haven't done anything with... Well, that would be incorrect. I have, uh, gone to a place 
wasn't really interesting, so I haven't really done much with it, would be the best way to say it. And, well, nothing much else for me to show right now, so this is Akir Dreyhart, and I'm signing off.